My life before I came here was pretty unmanageable. Before I didn't have no discipline in my life, no structure. I was pretty much on my own doing what I wanted to do. Never really had anybody to, to tell me the right from wrong, so I just I just always did the wrong thing instead of the right thing. Before here, born and raised on the Cape, out of high school, started working excavation. But Every once in a while, you hit a speed bump, so that's what leads me here. Today, we're talking about credit, credit scores, and how to repair that credit. Because no matter who you are, somebody has had some bad credit. Nobody has perfect credit. Today, we're going to talk about what goes into that credit score. And if you can see the first one, we've got credit history is about 30%. 35% of that, however, is your payment history. Most of the other kids I know, they actually have a bank account. They're saving up for college. And I've always been uh, kind of like an outcast, you know? I never saved money. When I get money, it comes in my hand and then out the other. 80% of the folks who come here have some issue with either alcohol or drugs. Uh, and it, recovery is a very difficult thing, especially when you leave here. Uh, so. We don't want them to get frustrated because they don't know how to bank. Working in the correctional facility, we're talking about the same skills that everybody needs to have. We have more similarities than we do differences. We need to be financially responsible. Uh, we need to know how to manage our finances, and that's for everybody. Does your interaction with that creditor influence that time. It's going to give them a push to lead productive lives and our hope is that they'll lead a productive life and we will never see them again here. How many points does your uh, credit score go down each time they check your score? As a consumer when you pull your own credit it does not affect your credit score. It's when you're... I believe that financial education is beneficial to me because it can provide me with knowledge of how to keep a budget, how to prioritize spending. Before I came in here, I didn't, I didn't trust banks at all. So, but when I, when I get out, I'm gonna get a bank account, start saving money. You know, that way I can build interest. I can understand how going into a bank is intimidating. We at the bank are your neighbors and we're your friends and our intention is that you succeed. How are they doing? I think they're doing great. I, they're <laughs> yeah, fabulous. So. They're just like everybody else. They have great questions. The same questions mm -hmm. every one of us have every single day. I've been doing a lot of thinking since I've been here. Like, I got a different mind state. It's, I think more positive now than negative, you know, since being in this program. I, I've built structure around myself and my life, you know, I make better choices. All in all, just obviously thank you for everybody who comes in to offer these programs and uh, I'm not going to say I want to come back and do it again, but it's definitely been helpful to me, yeah. By doing things like our financial program, we're able to make a commitment to the community that we're going to work hard to send people out of this correctional facility in better shape than when they came in. We do want them to succeed. We do want them to set on a new path in their lives, and, and we'd like to help provide them with the tools for that.